Okay, so first of all, thank you very much everybody for gathering for you know this tech conference. Uh, we are pretty impressed by the number of people show up, and hopefully we'll give you uh, enough entertainment uh, and uh, uh, you know makes your you know visit worthwhile. So uh, my name is Takuya uh, Kitagawa, and I'm the chief data officer of Rackling Group. So I'm overseeing the entire uh, data uh, in Rackling Group. And uh, today, uh, you know, uh, uh, I want to talk a bit about, you know, uh, what kind of data we have in Rakuten and why we are so excited about this data. Uh, basically, I believe, you know, uh, Rakuten definitely has one of the best data source uh, about, you know, Japanese people and hopefully in the, in the future about the global uh, citizens uh, to understand and make the people's life better. Okay, so uh, uh, let me tell you why I'm so convinced about this story. So first of all, uh, you know, if you are you know listening to you know Miki's speech uh, just now, uh, Miki just mentioned about you know how you know uh, how big of our uh, you know uh, entire corporate is becoming, and uh, we are basically covering many 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 different in industries. And just to, you know as a summary, you know a number of services we are providing already uh, covers more than seventy. Uh, I'll uh, you know give you a bit more detail later. And uh, number of users uh, in Japan, it's uh, you know uh, 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 about uh, ninety five million. Uh, sorry, this is not user number, it's more like account number. Sorry, this, uh, there's a typo. And uh, global account is also is more than 1.2 billion uh, uh, number. And uh, uh, Japan trans transaction volume uh, is reaching up uh, more than 10 trillion Japanese yen, which is actually, if you consider uh, 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 the uh, uh, total consumption, sorry, the, the, um, there are a few typos, sorry. <laughs> the total consumption of Japanese people, it's about 3% of the total consumption of Japan. Uh, sorry, Japanese GDP is about uh, I think 500 trillion, so it's actually uh, more like 2% of the GDP. And uh, uh, service users usage time, uh, as we calculated roughly, uh, reaches uh, about you know, 1 billion hours, and uh, which is about, you know, if you just count uh, our login users, uh, it's about 4% of the entire uh, people's consumption time in, uh, online. Okay? So therefore, uh, I think we are uh, uh, fair to say uh, we can understand uh, Japanese consumers' uh, behavior pretty well. Uh, I talked about 70 different services, and uh, uh, many of you might already have recognized some of the services we provide. Uh, but we cover, uh, of course, e-commerce, you know, Rakuten Ichiba, uh, to current payment, you know, Rakuten Card, Rakuma, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, Rakuten Pay, which is, you know, you can make a payment offline. Uh, banking, Rakuten Bank, securities, you know, insurance, sports and culture, communications. We are starting off, you know, M&O, uh, digital contents. Uh, we do, uh, you know, uh, 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 digital books. Uh, life and leisure, like uh, rock and travel, rock and gora, and uh, rock and marketing, which is you know uh, the absolute business. So because we are you know uh, kind of you know uh, stringing together all those services with a single customer ID, we can understand customer from all those different different uh, you know uh, diverse perspective. Uh, and the world, uh, as you can see, you know, is now becoming not just about transaction with the customer, right? You know, people don't look at the customer as only a payment. But also, actually, you started seeing with the data uh, as an engagement with individual customer. So, uh, you know, uh, subscription model is becoming more and more popular because now relationship with the customer and company is more important than just transaction. Right? So this is uh, fundamentally why we believe uh, we should capture uh, uh, people's uh, understanding uh, based on a uh, uh, customer, not, not, not based on uh, services. And then, uh, uh, Miki already talked about this. We already are number one uh, in many, many different uh, fields, uh, including e-commerce, number two, rock travel, uh, security is number two, rock and bank, number one, rock and credit card is already number one, rock and mobile, uh, number one is, as any you know, okay? So that's why uh, I think our data is quite interesting. You know, if you're interested in data, our data is actually far more interesting than, than, than you actually think. Uh, just to show you how we are growing, uh, so this is how fast we're growing. Uh, you know, we are technology people, so you know, we usually you know pay attention to you know data science algorithm, uh, you know, uh, uh, etc. But at the end, when you have a big business growth, uh, uh, technology also gets extremely exciting, right? So I think you know, uh, for some of you who are working already in the company, you realize you know, uh, yes, you know, uh, technology is driven by technology people, but yet. Uh, if there's underlining business growth that comes with you know uh, exciting customer you know, and uh, consumer spending, uh, your technology becomes much much more exciting. Right? So that's uh, that's the story I want to tell. You can see this very very impressive you know uh, growth of the car uh, car business. Uh, you can see you know Rakuten Car took over the the rest of the you know uh, car business and became number one in Japan uh, this year. 
Now, uh, why are we doing so many different services? Uh, this is the answer. Our business model is about uh, you know, uh, reducing customer acquisition costs. So previously, many different services were acquiring uh, you know, a customer you know, uh, one by one. So you know, uh, if you look around uh, uh, the industry, you know, uh, you know, car industry pays money, you know, mobile industry pay money, gaming industry pay money, and then they, they, they attract exactly the same person's attention, and then try to you know, uh, you know, uh, pay a lot of money to advertise in business, right? So that's what's happening. But what we are trying now is, no, 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 no. Once we acquire a customer, we get to know the customer, and that's uh, within the Rakuten membership, uh, uh, we don't have to pay money to the business, but we can just provide a benefit to the customer and acquire a customer for different services. Okay, so that's how we are building our business model, and that's exactly how we successfully uh, grew our uh, you know, fintech business uh, so fast and so big. Right? Now, based on this story, you can immediately recognize how important personalization is in our business. Right? So this is going to be a fundamental, you know, uh, stepping stone for our, uh, you know, uh, uh, data business going forward, right? Uh, because uh, uh, you know, reducing customer acquisition costs by, uh, you know, uh, cross-selling our services is our fundamental business model. Uh, you know, uh, uh, our data and how we can understand the customer, how do we approach the customer, how do we convince the customer, is a key, and everything about our business. Okay? And uh, uh, so. Uh, 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 this is now, so far, uh, mostly within Rakuten Group businesses, but very quickly we're going to open this up to other uh, companies. So through our advertising business, together with Arima-san, who used to be uh, you know, head of uh, Google uh, Japan, uh, we are now expanding this service to external uh, to Rakuten Group, so that many other services can benefit from this, uh, including uh, you know, uh, our partners. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the vision we have about our business is uh, uh, not just about, you know, uh, uh, those, you know, each services, but we usually picture our entire business uh, from uh, 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 the entire Japanese consumption. So, uh, uh, you know, from, uh, quite often we look at the entire industry and then, uh, you know, uh, I actually sometimes read this, you know, Gyokai Chizu that, you know, many actually new grad actually reads <laughs> and actually like, pay attention to each of the industry and check out which industry can we go and which industry should we capture to really understand customer's lifestyle. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how we think about it. Just to give you a, a, a bit of idea, you know, uh, some of the uh, industry we are very strong at. Uh, so we capture a quite big you know, uh, market for contact lens, music, uh, instrument, wine, golf goods, automobile, etc. And then uh, uh, this is uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, why we are confident that we can understand customer very well. So with this, uh, you know, amount of data, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mikitani-san, our CEO, uh, usually says our uh, strategy is about brand membership and data, and now you know why. You know, I think I, you, I already explained. And brand because all those, you know, to, for people to uh, trust in these cross services, there needs to be a trust, right? And trust is built by you know, building a very good brand. So that's how uh, we go about, you know, uh, being a business. So uh, I'm going to go into uh, <laughs> the central topic, which is the data strategy in science. Um, um, when, I talk about, when I think about you know, data strategy in the Rakuten group, I think about you know, what is the value of data. You know? So you know, people talk about you know, uh, data is uh, you know, oil of the 21st century. Uh, uh, but you know, uh, uh, if that's the case, you know, what do we think is the value? And uh, uh, I think you know, the value of the data is to discover and realize the hidden value. Right? So let me... Uh, uh, talk to you a little bit about this. Uh, some of the most example, uh, obvious examples are, you know, uh, investment value. So if you, uh, 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 let's say, if the market, you know, assumes that uh, you know company value is this much, uh, let's say you have a data that can tell you, no, 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 the company value is actually this much. And all you have to do is to buy that company stock, and you can make a lot of money, right? So that's a, as simple as that, and uh, uh, that could be the you know power of data. And then many companies started doing it already using a satellite. You know, uh, the simply speaking, for retail uh, performance, uh, quite often you have to wait for the quarterly report to actually uh, get to know how much, how well the, each retail is doing. Uh, but if you if you can watch, you know, the retail's you know parking spot and how many cars actually go into into that store and leaving, you can immediately tell, you know, how, how many customers are actually buying from that store. So therefore, you can tell the sales uh, projection before the quarterly report. Okay, so that's one example. And recently, I think the same guy started actually analyzing uh, how uh, Tesla is actually uh, you know, uh, outputting their cars, right? So you know, uh, stock market was so afraid that Tesla wasn't you know good enough uh, productions yet. But you know, uh, satellite, for example, detect you know, how many cars actually are uh, you know being produced by uh, Tesla. Okay. 
So that's one example. Uh, second example is coming from you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, like Alibaba example of Sesame Credit. You know, uh, so uh, fundamentally, you know, uh, 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 many companies assume the credibility of the people to be some number, right? Uh, uh, this number usually comes from your credit history, which is you know how much money you borrowed and how much you uh, how much you need to pay back. Uh, but you know, with a lot more data, such as you know, uh, when you trust your friend, you trust your friend based on something else, right? You don't you don't borrow money, you don't pay back, you don't pay back money, but you actually you know uh, check you know oh, does this person keep uh, my promise? You know, does this person you know uh, uh, you know uh, give me uh, snack sometimes and stuff like that, right? And <laughs> that's how you judge your friend's credibility. And uh, so with all those data, uh, you know you think you know uh, uh, people's credibility or uh, how much uh, trust you should give to that person. Uh, should be more adequately measured, and those people who deserve, uh, uh, you know, those people who you know live very honestly, you know, uh, uh, you know, do something really good, should be trusted more, and then uh, uh, that kind of a, a very uh, fair society should be built uh, based on data is my uh, belief. So that's uh, that's another example, and then the uh, last one is you know uh, 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 the talk I usually give in the advertisement uh, business. Is you know people's attention value might be uh, might not be appropriately you know uh, used right now. Uh, so advertisement is now uh, everywhere, and then advertising business is making a lot of money. Uh, but is is that really fair? You know, uh, uh, you know, are, are they treating my attention or your attention fairly, and then treat your time uh, in a good way, right? And I think we can do far better job, is my opinion. And uh, so you know, by understanding you know what customer really care about, what do, uh, do people want to do uh, in their life, what do they value? Uh, we should be able to value people's attention and time much more, and then uh, you know data can tell you, uh, you know how much we are not doing it or we are doing it. Right? So that's uh, an example. Uh, let me just concretely go into a few examples. I still have some time uh, of how uh, investment uh, decisions can be made based on data. And then uh, let me take the example of a company called Slice, which is a company we we got acquired, uh, you know, a couple a uh, couple years ago in uh, US. And this company actually uh, uh, can understand, you know, uh, how you know some of the sales numbers going for uh, different industries. Uh, and uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, this is a kind of old data. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, but where MVB uh, was doing already uh, well uh, two years ago, uh, you know, we are wondering, you know, why Airbnb is doing well. And first of all, we decided to check, you know, Airbnb's you know, performance against other hotels. And you could tell uh, from this graph that Airbnb is actually doing twice as good. At, as well as you know uh, other hotels uh, already in the in uh, two years ago. Okay, so we checked you know uh, that they are doing well. The question is now why? And you can uh, uh, collect another data and on the vertical axis you know uh, uh, you can see uh, the graph of you know uh, price per night. You know so how expensive the you know a stay is per night. And in the horizontal axis you can see uh, you know, how many nights people are staying. You know so uh, there's a tr general trend. That those people who stay, uh, uh, who uh, make a trip for a longer time, uh, are willing to pay more money per night. Okay? So you know, uh, uh, basically, uh, the trend is uh, the people with more money, uh, uh, more time, has more money somehow. Right? That's the correlation. Uh, but of course, you know, uh, uh, somebody like me uh, who uh, who don't have money but who have a lot of time, uh, <laughs> what should I do? Right? And uh, as you can see, uh, Airbnb captured that market. You know. So somebody like me who have a lot of time but who don't who don't have money uh, uh, still want to make a trip and have a, you know a lot of good experience in you know, outside of uh, outside of the country for example uh, and another you know a kind of set of people maybe who have uh, like me uh, like uh, students of uh, college you know uh, uh, desperately wanted you know some uh, some place uh, they can stay uh, for a long period of time uh, very comfortably but cheap price right so this kind of graph can tell you uh, and give you more confidence. You know uh, why Airbnb is winning, right? So uh, many, you know, uh, markets said, you know, Airbnb is eating up other hotels industry. So you know, many uh, many hotels, you know, got really angry and they started, you know, uh, 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 you know, fighting against Airbnb. But the fact is, they are capturing the different market. They are expanding the market to completely different uh, customer segments and making those people happier, right? So that's uh, uh, that is kind of insight you need uh, for a more confident uh, investment. And then, uh, as a rafting group, we've been doing a lot of uh, investment, uh, in including uh, you know uh, Lyft, uh, which is you know uh, now uh, probably second biggest share in riding uh, you know uh, uh, company in the, in the US, and then have successfully made uh, extremely uh, you know uh, good uh, amount of money 
you know, so this is an uh, investment of uh, close to, you know, uh, uh, 1,800 you know, US dollars, and we, we, uh, the, the valuation of those investments is now up to 2,900 you know, million, uh, million dollars. You know, uh, so, 3,000 okay. Let's speak. And then our second example, I already ex explained. Uh, you know, uh, uh, so we are doing uh, uh, developing advertisement uh, uh, business uh, based on the idea that you know, uh, you know, uh, marketing that's not based on uh, purchases, so that doesn't lead to uh, purchases, uh, are not very meaningful. And one uh, product we built was so-called Iris. Uh, this is a very, very simple uh, product, uh, but extremely powerful. Uh, so it kind of you just find uh, those people who have purchased certain like brand, and you basically expand those customers based on uh, our tremendous amount of data uh, to uh, you know, find a look-alike uh, person. Uh, so technology-wise, I think it's, it's simple. It, it's not, uh, it's not uh, you know, uh, rocket science. I think any, any uh, decent data science can uh, develop uh, this kind of uh, you know, uh, 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 algorithm. Uh, uh, but of course, you know, I think our, our, uh, our you know, RIT is the one who developed this algorithm. Our uh, uh, algorithm itself is very, uh, you know, uh, sophisticated. Uh, but, you know, uh, if you ask to do it in a simple way, you probably can do it in the same way. Uh, uh, but, you know, fundamentally, because the data is so uh, rich, uh, basically, the, you know, uh, the accuracy uh, of identifying a person who's actually interested in that brand or a product is extremely high. So it just works so well. And uh, at least I, I think in this article it says you know uh, sometimes homes five times better than uh, you know uh, other products, uh, other similar products out there. Okay, so that's uh, uh, one example. Okay, uh, so I still have you know a few minutes. So I actually want to talk about so I talk about why and what a little bit. So I want to talk about how uh, because many of you are data scientists. And one of the big challenge of building data science uh, in Rockton Group is actually you know, uh, accumulating the science knowledge and the knowledge. So, uh, you know, uh, just like brand, uh, uh, when you evaluate a company's value, you know, uh, people know the concept brand now, but it's very difficult to, uh, you know, uh, assess how much the value of data should be. And uh, fundamentally, uh, the reason data isn't being, uh, be becoming asset yet is really uh, the difficulty to manage that knowledge, right? So when you generate those kind of insights I just, uh, you know, showed you, where, where should, I, should you find in the company? You know, can you search for it? You know, but quite often, you just have to ask around and, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, somebody, uh, find somebody who knows about the insights. You know, if you want to know the insights about travel, if you want to know, know about insights about Rakuten and Ichiba, uh, golf, golf booking play, uh, businesses, you have to go to uh, you know, marketers for each of the businesses and ask them, okay, what those segments of people are like. But that's not very efficient, that's not uh, very uh, sustainable, and that's not a very uh, uh, scalable way to do it. So we actually, uh, 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 our members, uh, and, uh, uh, and Ansan, who's actually uh, studying over there, uh, she's building this platform. Um, so the idea is, you know, uh, because we have, you know, a, a human also on the data, uh, we decided to first of all, of course, data, make a data platform, which is, you know, everybody does. And then also we decided to you know, set aside, you know, computational, computational resource, uh, that can be dockerized and then uh, you know uh, can be you know uh, allocated to uh, uh, people who need it uh, in the central place. And on top of it, we decided to build something called data science platform uh, uh, that can uh, uh, centrally manage the entire knowledge of the, uh, the data science community and uh, research community in the Rakuten group. So uh, you know, uh, uh, so, uh, my hope is you know uh, it's not yet the case, but my hope is you know uh, uh, maybe uh, toward the end of uh, you know uh, uh, next year. Uh, everybody in the in the in the Rakuten group, you know, close to 1,000 people probably, uh, will start using this platform to generate any data knowledge, you know, data analysis, data insight, you know, uh, simple and SQL query, etc. On this platform, and then uh, eventually they can uh, publish uh, uh, their insights or finding or, or know-how uh, as a blog uh, uh, in, in, in within the Rakuten group. Right. Uh, so uh, uh, this is just an example of you know how. Uh, that platform looks like. Uh, so you can publish those, you know, blogs, and then you can, uh, you know, uh, on the left you can see the, all the list of the insights, and on, on the right, you know, this is just example of uh, this, uh, you know, a sharp analysis. Uh, if you know, you know, this is uh, one of the exploratory, you know, uh, 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 model that you can build on top of uh, your deep learning or other complicated models, and then, uh, you know, uh, 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 people can read uh, the, this Jupyter notebook-based, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, insight. And then uh, reproduce exactly the same uh, idea, uh, and if you want, just uh, copy and paste the entire uh, you know uh, Python notebook, right? So uh, that's uh, I think this is going to be critical. Uh, so uh, I'm coming from academic uh, you know field. Uh, I used to be a theoretical physicist, 
And in theoretical physics, there's a thing called archive, you know, which is very useful. You know, if you're computer science, also you use archive. Uh, that's very useful for sharing the knowledge, uh, uh, which is common to everybody. But unfortunately, many economic uh, uh, you know, insights, uh, 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 it's very uh, strongly tied with your, your own data uh, in uh, Rock and H-Bar, Commerce Business, Travel Business. And those data are not very easy to share outside a uh, company. So you just have to build the same academic field within the company, right? So that's the idea. So we are going to build the entire academic field within this company. And I think I, I've seen enough of a very smart people in this company, so I'm very confident we can do it. And that's, that's going to be a start of, you know, a generation of uh, very, very good, uh, you know, insights uh, into our business. So just uh, one last slide. And uh, uh, so our group uh, is a very, very, you know, uh, you know diverse uh, set of talents. And, uh, 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 you know, I think, uh, you know, Japanese is, is now uh, actually a minority uh, in our group. And uh, I think 70% of people are, you know, are actually outside of Japan. And uh, they're very talented and very fun to work with. And uh, we are having a lot of fun. Uh, even though I'm, uh, I'm not a very, uh, you know, uh, I'm uh, one of the, you know, uh, tough, I guess, manager, <laughs> uh, demanding a lot. But still, it's fun. <laughs> the team members are actually nice guys, uh, as you can see in the picture. So, you know, uh, if you're interested in any, uh, you know, uh, 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 side of the data, uh, we are going to build the world number one data science team. Uh, we are going to build one. So uh, if you want to join uh, uh, such a team, uh, please let me know, and uh, <laughs> I'll be more than happy to you know, uh, talk with you. So thank you very much.